Hello again, Michael Freeberg here from beautiful North Carolina at the start of fall. Leaves are starting to turn. We're seeing some fall fruit like the apples starting to come in. The temperatures are starting to drop. Nice cool evenings. Love the fall here. All right, well, let's start off with the first of two products for review today. The first is this soap, this utility bar from Beard Brand, the tea tree. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is not designed as a shaving soap per se. It is a utility bar, it's a multi-purpose soap bar, but it can be used for shaving. I'm gonna show you how I was uh, able to use this during the course of the week. It's designed for face, it's designed for like a shampoo bar or a shower bar, and for shaving as well. So just bear that in mind as we go through its use. The brush for the week is going to be the first of three of brushes that were sent to me by DS Cosmetics. Um, another brush manufacturer in China. This is the first flat top I've ever used. It is a synthetic brush. Uh, it is quite soft on the tips with a little bit of spring. Interesting note about these fibers is that when you run your finger sort of up them, you can feel there's a slight crinkle to them. They're not perfectly smooth, which is kind of cool. It doesn't add anything to the actual brush itself, but just an interesting feature. So we'll use that for today's shave as well. The razor for today is going to be 1950 Ball End Tech. I hope you can see the slight marking of the Gillette there on the cap. The blade is going to be Gillette Silver Blue on its third use for today. Let's go and get this assembled. Base plate. Yes, I'm going to use the washer, and this is one of the one of the razors that this washer usage is really designed for. These razors like many of these vintage Gillettes have issues with cracking handles. And so one thing you can do is use this small nylon washer to either prevent or to lessen the impact of over tightening the handle to the razor. Because you want it to be tight, but if you keep over tightening it day after day after day, year after year, you can develop cracks in the handle. So I use a washer on those and I just use the washer and all the razors I have now. All right, let me wet my face. I'll show you the soap in the loading bowl and we'll get going. Yeah, so I was really happy to try the soap actually because it's easy to sort of fall into a uh, a bit of a rut as it were when you keep trying shaving soaps that are just absolutely sort of the best that are out there and they keep improving, somehow keep improving. But those are shaving soaps designed for one purpose and one purpose only and that is to be the best shaving soap they can be. That is not the purpose of this bar. This bar, and here you can see what it is, you can see the tea tree logo in there. This is designed as a multi-purpose multi soap. It's a hard soap and smells smells strongly of tea tree. Now I know that for some this is going to be somewhat reminiscent of paint or maybe paint thinner a little bit but to me it just smells sort of like uh, like tea tree. All right I'm soaking the brush through in the sink because the synthetic does not need to be sort of pre pre-soaked at all. Now the issue with the soap is, let me just sort of get this out of the way. If you try to lather this like a real shaving soap, it's not gonna work. What happens is the soap goes on, in fact, you'll see it in use. It will dissipate, it'll sort of collapse. You'll see the lather itself kind of disappear and form a thin layer on the face. So I've switched to a different way of lathering this. What I'm doing is, rather than trying to emulate or build a real shaving lather, um, what I found to be more successful is to build kind of a paste of soap and then wet that through because the soap, although it doesn't build what I would call like a traditional shaving soap lather, it is very, very slick. And in fact, before I start lathering, let me just sort of review some of the ingredients in here because you'll be interested to know this is not like an olive oil soap masquerading as a shave soap. It has cocoa seed butter, mango seed butter, castor seed oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grape seed oil, and apricot kernel oil. So as you can see, a very wide range of good for your skin oils and butters. All right, let me go ahead and just get the uh, get the brush going. I have shared some feedback with DS Cosmetics about this brush. It is uh, it's a little bit springy, so there is backbone, and when you press it, you've got to give it a little bit of pressure to uh, to make it splay, which just in this case helps you load over the soap. Um, it is a little bit springy. Uh, it is not as dense as I think it could be. So you see when you get it wet, it looks like it sort of clumps together and it makes me feel like there maybe isn't enough bristles in there, but in fact, there's plenty in there. It just like, to me, it just feels like that knot could be denser. All right, I'm gonna load. And I'm gonna load pretty heavy and just put a touch of water on there. I think this soap is perfect for somebody who 
wants to really trim down like kind of simplify what they're doing and try to make as much use of a single product as they can you might be traveling you might be trying to live light you try to simplify the products you use for personal grooming all of those would be great reasons for using this and if you're not like looking for the perfect like tuned shaving soap this works just fine so as you can see building up quite a lather and that looks pretty good but then once you start to apply it, you'll see what happens once it actually goes on all right, I think that's gonna be enough. Maybe just a little touch more water. I will certainly reload the brush, by the way, during the shave, because I think that just, just helps build the proper lather on the face. All right. So I'm gonna put this on, and you will see this lather collapse a little bit. It'll be white, and then it will thin out. So I'm not gonna go through and like face lather, and I'm gonna spend some time working up into a big frothy, thick lather, because that just is not where this goes. I don't know if you can sort of hear. It sounds a little aerated. I'm gonna load a touch more off the soap. It is quite hard, by the way, so, and this brush is a little bit, because uh, I think it is a little bit thin, maybe. This so I think this brush will be better on a softer soap, honestly but I am picking up quite a lot. There we go. So what I have found works very well for the soap is to get on a pasty layer. Don't try to work it into a lather. Now that may look good for the moment, but you'll see that'll start dissipating pretty quickly. So then what I've been doing is just adding a bit of water to the brush. And then as soon as you add that extra water, you can feel, feel the slickness come out. So I'm gonna leave it like that and we'll start shaving. So the ball and tech. I know that for a lot of people, this is too mild a razor. which is a shame for them and great for those of us who love it because it is so easy to use. If you prefer a milder, milder razor, then you should try to get your hands on one of these. Yes, the handle is a little bit thin, but Good knurling on it, good pattern. Doesn't feel slippery in use at all. Not hard to hold and very easy to maneuver. So that layer of soap that remains, as you can see, it's kind of thinning out. What's really happening is that the lather is sort of losing its air. That layer of bubbles is collapsing. But what remains behind Nice and slick. What's funny is this is one of the razors I have to tell myself, avoid the pressure. Be a touch careful right here because I somehow managed to cut myself on Wednesday and not even realize it. Just a tiny touch. It's almost as if the blade just popped the skin ever so slightly. Didn't even realize until the next day when I shaved and it sort of caught it again. Yeah, so when you rinse your face, you can really feel just how slick the soap is. Very, very nice layer of slickness. So I'm going to go back and reload the brush again and just pull out another, another layer of soap. And you could obviously just use the soap with your hands or just apply it directly to your face and achieve the same, the same result. I just wanted to use this brush. I really like the shape of the handle. This seems to be, you know, just a very common brush handle shape. Very easy to hold, a nice size, 24 millimeter knot. 
Uh, obviously you can get this in this sort of red coral, but there's some other colors you can get as well. They're all gonna look different, obviously, because of the blanks that they're using. So again, apply a bit of a paste. Don't try to work it up into a voluminous lather. And then just add a touch of water to bring out the slickness. There we go. Yeah, what I'll do for next week is I will use that as sort of the bath and shampoo bar and we'll see what we get there too. All right, this is the across the grain. Yeah, as you can see, it's starting to thin out a little bit, but still very slick in use. There we go. Yeah, this is a section where, for me, mild razors really do the trick. I've seen to be on a run lately where blades just are not lasting as long. Usually, these silver blues, five shades, usually get through a week. But this one is already starting to feel shave three, like, might be time to bid it adieu, which I would anyway, because it's the end of the shaving week. Very, I very rarely carry them through to the next week. Watch for the overhang here. Gonna watch that little cut right there. Yeah, soap is plenty slick. You know, having no issues getting good shave out of it. Okay, one more rinse. And then final pass. You can still see when I did that just how much soap is still on the face. All right, I'm gonna load a little more soap. And just so you can see, a lot of lather forming around it. Gonna be quite interested to see how well this works as a uh, bath and shower bar as well. You know, it's always fun to try things that are sort of outside of your normal comfort zone, it's very easy to sort of be lulled into a sense of complacency because you just think it's great soap after great soap after great soap after great soap. Yes, I know that the Williams was in there, so maybe that wasn't so great soap. But, you know, just keep looking around. There's all kinds of things out there to try. All right, here we go, final pass. Scent is not strong, but definitely present. I think there's two others, one of which I think is like a um, like a spruce or forest scent. All right, I'm gonna add just a touch of water, pull some of that lather up from the brush, and just sort of paint in the water. Yeah, you can feel the way the brush moves over your skin, how slick that really is. I know that looks bad. I mean, if this was a true shaving soap, then yeah, I would definitely be nervous because that's not how it's supposed to be. But for a multi-purpose bar, all right, here we go, across the grain.
this is a razor where sometimes I think, yeah, maybe like a fourth quick touch-up pass might be required, but still two days of growth, no issue. There we go. Bit of slip on the handle there. All right, mustache and we're done. There we go. Very nice residual slickness. All right, I'm gonna rinse off my face. Now the soap is hard to rinse in that as you're rinsing it, like there is still a fair amount of soap in my face, but it's also leaving behind this very nice sort of fatty layer and I think, no, uh, yeah, two days this week. I've basically gone without using aftershave to see what the post-shave skin conditioning is like. And that's kind of one of the big surprises for the soap is that it's actually really good. It leaves behind kind of a slick, slightly, you can see how much soap is still on there. I'm gonna towel off. Well, without being too vigorous about it. Yeah, and the nice thing is, that's still got a nice, slick, slightly fatty layer to it. And no real dryness, no tightness. Skin feels nice and supple after that shave. And a pretty good shave. I mean, that smooth, no irritation, no heat. Missed a tiny spot under there, but no matter. Yeah, I was really quite uh, quite impressed with the post-shave feel of the soap, actually, and that uh, sort of slightly slick, fatty feel to it lasted for quite a while. It is a little bit dry in the sense that it is, of course, a soap, but overall, very nice post-shave skin feel. However, I'm not going to leave it there because what I've been using on those other days is the remainder of the Barrister Man Le Grande Chypre, which is one of my favorite aftershaves. I just love this scent. It's got such a, a deep sort of rose and floral and citrus and the oak moss and it's, excuse me, and it's almost gone. So I might use it for the next week as well and just see if I can actually finish one of these bottles because although I'm not really embarrassed to say, it's a little embarrassing to say, there's no room on the shelf now and I've got to make some room. Very brief alcohol hit just for a moment. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Well, oh, rich. I love sort of the depth of the rose in there. Just a fantastic scent. And it lasts. So for me, there's sort of an immediate, very brief hit, and then an almost immediate dry down. Very kind of classic aftershave feel to it. And which when I don't use one, I do kind of miss this particular feel to close out the shave. I don't know about you guys, but something about just brisk application of aftershave. Oh, and this smells, oh, it just smells so good. Such a, such a rich, rich, beautiful, deep scent. Love it. 
Okay, we are done. Let's just take a quick pass through the products, just a quick recap. So, the tea tree utility bar from Beard Brand. I've also been using um, their hair, hair hold spray. You should be really impressed with how I caught that, by the way. I was pretty pro. Utility bar is a multi-purpose bar. It's not designed for shaving only, but as you saw, still very easy to get a good shave with it. I'll report back next week how that's gone for the bath slash shower slash shampoo bar, and we'll see. A very nice list, nice list of ingredients. The scent tea tree, which is definitely pronounced when you first begin to lather it, fades up get when you begin to use it. I've been pretty happy with this product actually as something which you could use as your single soap source, as it were. Yes, it's not a top tier shaving soap. It's not meant to be. It's meant to be a single bar of soap for many purposes. Thank you so much again for selling it. Really enjoyed trying this out. The first of three brushes from DS Cosmetics. Uh, the handle shape is very easy to hold. I love the design, it looks cool. Kind of a cool red and coral mix there to the brush color. Flat top works very well with that soap. Yes, I think this could be a little more dense. Um, we're sort of going back and forth. We're sort of sharing some feedback with the vendor as well about what that would, what that would mean, how that would change the knot potentially. Uh, still in the scheme of things, very easy to use. Soft, comfortable, with a little bit of backbone, a bit of springiness, but still with a touch of pressure, still splays open pretty easily. Two more brushes from DS Cosmetics to come in the weeks in the weeks ahead. The razor for today, obviously the Gillette Ball End Tech. Lovely, mild, easy to use razor, no issues with this. Simple, safe, easy, effective shaves. Nothing to complain about in that regard. And let's close it out with my dear friend, Le Grand Chiplet from Barrister and Man. Love the scent, great aftershave, just feels fantastic going on. Nothing more need be said about that. All right, well that's it for today everybody. Thank you again so much for watching. Really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to continue to leave your comments and questions on this video or any previous video. Thank you again so much for watching and until next time, goodbye.